Hello everyone. In this lecture video, we are going to see some topics under Unit 1 in the subject Basics of Biomedical Instrumentation. This video lecture covers Origin of Biopotential, Classification of Biosignals, Physiological Systems, Structure of a Cell, Resting and Action Potential. First, we are going to see about the origin of biopotential. Let's see what is meant by biopotential or biomedical signal. The signal which are used for extracting some information from our human body or a biological system is called a biopotential. This biopotential is generated from a tissue of a body. Particularly during the contraction of the muscles or tissues, the biopotential is generated. Certain parts of the human body will generate its own electrical signal that conveys an useful information about the function performed by that part. Bioelectrical voltages are measured and monitored for the diagnosis and treatment of many type of diseases. Mostly, the cell groups in the tissues of the human body will not produce the electric potential synchronously. Instead of that, it produces the potential randomly. But many cells produce their voltages synchronously and the resultant voltage is developed and this voltage is high enough to be measured by an equipment. Next, we shall see about the classification of biosignals. Biosignals are classified according to source, according to biomedical application and according to signal characteristics. Biosignals are also further classified into bioelectric signals. These signals are generated from nerve cells and muscle cells. The signals such as EEG, ECG, etc. Next is bioacoustic signals. Some acoustic noises are produced from our human body and these acoustic noises is measured and it provides the information about some diseases such as snoring sound, the sound generated from the lungs, digestive tract, etc. Next is biomechanical signal. Due to the movement of the chest walls, in accordance with the respiratory activity, the biomechanical signals are produced. Next is biochemical signals. Some signals are obtained as a result of some chemical reactions or chemical measurements such as partial pressure of carbon dioxide, partial pressure of oxygen and concentration of various ions in the blood. Next is biomagnetic signals. Some weak magnetic fields are produced from some organs such as brain, heart and lungs. These magnetic signals are only measured using magnetoencephalograph. Next is bio-optical signals. These optical signals are measured by sending a transmitted signal and measuring the backscattered light from any tissue. Next is bioimpedance signals. The bioimpedance signals are generated by injecting a sinusoidal current into a particular tissue for testing or during testing. Now we shall see about the physiological systems of human body. The bones and joints forms the skeletal system and the skeletal muscles forms a muscular system. The brain, spinal cord and nerves constitute the nervous system. Hormone producing cells and glands forms the endocrine system. Blood, heart and blood vessels join together and said to be the cardiovascular system, lungs and airways 
is said to be the respiratory system organs of the gastrointestinal tract forms the digestive system kidneys and urinary tract forms the urinary system male and female reproductive organs forms the reproductive system next we shall see about the cell and its structure basically cell is the structural and functional unit of any organism and cell is the smallest unit of our life and cell is the building block of the life the human body contains of about 10 trillion number of cells the different substances that make up a cell are collectively known as protoplasm and the protoplasm composed of water electrolyte proteins lipids carbohydrates cytoplasm ribosomes lysosomes and mitochondria the important parts of a cell are the plasma membrane nucleus and cytoplasm let's see one by one in plasma membrane is a biological membrane which separates the interior and exterior of a cell or it separates the interior of the cell from the outside environment nucleus the nucleus is the largest cellular organism organelle in the human in mammals the average diameter of the nucleus is approximately 6 micrometer which occupies about 10 percentage of the total cell volume next is cytoplasm the cytoplasm is a gel like substance which resides within the cell membrane and it holds all the organelles outside the nucleus now we shall see about the resting potential when the cell is at rest the outside of the cell membrane will be more positive than inside Hence, a potential difference is created across the cell membrane and this type of potential is called resting potential. So this resting potential is measured across the membrane potential from the cell with respect to the body fluid. The resting potential is assigned a negative value or negative sign and it ranges from minus 60 to minus 100 millivolt and at this stage the cell is said to be in polarized form next we shall see about action potential the potential generated when the cell is in action is called action potential when the section of a membrane is excited by a flow of current or ionic voltage it is when this membrane is excited when the muscle or the tissues is in action the membrane will be excited and the membrane changes its characteristics during this time so during this time the ionic current flows through the membrane and it creates an avalanche effect in the cell membrane now the na plus ions will rush from the outside to inside of the cell and K plus ions will rush from inside to outside of the cell but the K plus ions cannot move as rapidly as N plus ions hence the inner side of the cell will be more positive than outside the potential difference measured at this moment is called action potential and at this stage the cell is said to be depolarized once after the action potential the sodium potassium pump will operate once this ionic current due to the action potential has stopped the cell membrane will now block the further entry of na plus ions from outside to inside and block the further entry of k plus ions from inside to outside now it pumps the sodium ions from inside to outside 
and potassium ions from outside to inside of the cell. At this condition, it pumps 3 Na plus ions to outside and 2 K plus ions to inside at this moment. The cell again becomes polarized and it resumes to its resting potential and this process is called repolarization. In nerve and muscle cells, the repolarization will occur so rapidly followed by repolarization. That is, immediately after the, after the depolarization, the repolarization will happen. Hence, the action potential occurs only for 1 millisecond. But in heart cells, the repolarization occurs very slowly and hence the action potential will occur for 150 to 300 milliseconds. So in this lecture video, we have covered the topics like origin of biopotential, classification of biosignals, physiological systems, structure of a cell, resting and action potential. Thanks for watching.